Hi there, this is René Molenaar for GNS 3 Volt, and I want to show you how to configure the server load balancing lab. So what we have here are five routers, and the two routers at the top are going to be my web servers. So those are routers running HTTP server. In the middle you have uh, the SLB router, that's where we will configure server load balancing. And at the bottom we have two clients that we can use to uh, test our SLB setup. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is use router SLB and I want to use round robin uh, to share uh, connections to the two web servers that I have. And web server 1 should get twice as many connections as web server 2. So let me show you how this um, works. And I'm going to use router SLB for this. So first of all, I have to create a server farm and I'm going to call mine server farm. And this is where we have to specify the real IP addresses of the two web servers that I have. And let me check those. That should be 34.4 and 35.5. So this is the first one. And we can enable it by using the in service command. And I have to set the weight. So I'm going to set the weight at 2 for this web server. And let's do the other server. This one I'm going to set the weight at 1. And this will ensure that this web server will get twice as many connections as this web server. So that's what the weight is for. So set the weight in service and that's it. Um, well, there's one more thing I have to do. We need to use the predictor command. And that's where we will specify round robin. There we go. Okay, so that's the server farm part. Next part is <coughs> the virtual server. So this is the virtual server IP address. So I'm going to call it vServer. This is where we will specify the virtual server IP address. So I'm going to pick something in, in the 123 range. Because that's the subnet over here at the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to use TCP. And of course we want to use port 80. There we go. So that's the virtual IP address. Uh, one more thing. I have to specify the server farm. And I called mine server farm. And we need to enable it by using the in service command. So right now you can see this interface is going up, so that's all looking good. And there's one more thing that I have to do on the web servers. That's creating a loopback address. And I need to add the virtual IP address on the loopback on both of my web servers. So let's copy it. There we go. So that should be everything that I need. So with a bit of luck, we'll, uh, we'll test it. So I'm going to one of my clients and I'm going to telnet into the virtual IP address, port 80. And with a bit of luck, this should work. There we go. So you can see it says open. So it seems that we are connecting to the uh, HTTP port. So that's good, that's uh, working. Let me show you a couple of show commands that can be useful. And show IP SLB v servers. This is the virtual server IP address and you can see that we have one connection. And 
And now it says two connections. Uh, the server farm, you can see that we are using round robin. The server farm name is server farm. There are two real um, web servers. And these are the real IP addresses of the servers that we have. And you can see that the weight has been set to 2 for the first web server and 1 for the second web server. Um, so that's, uh, that's it. Uh, well, there's one more thing that might be useful to know. If you use this command, you can see that it says not, network address translation, none. If you use SLB, there are two different methods. There is the directed method, and then you have to use network address translation, or you need to use the dispatched mode, which doesn't require network address translation. Uh, but if you use dispatched, like in my example, then your uh, servers have to be directly connected to the router doing SLB. If you're using directed mode with network address translation, these two virtual, uh, sorry, real servers do not have to be directly connected to the SLB router. So that's directed um, or uh, dispatched mode. But that's it. Uh, this is how you set up SLB. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time.